guys, Tepan Bay over here. So currently we're here at uh, Civita Vecchia, Italia. Just arrived uh, last week. So if you're new to the channel, uh, please do like our videos and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or whatsoever, uh, put it down there at the comment section. All right? Oh uh, yeah, uh, notification bell. Please click that for uh, new videos and yeah whatever <laughs> so yeah today we're gonna review uh, my uh, remote truck my uh, luggage so i purchased this one uh, two years ago in uh, remote Phnom Penh, cambodia we missed that day, so yeah um so it's been with me for like two years and it does hold up really well and it's over here i'm gonna show you guys wait a minute So, there have been uh, some people who have been uh, criticizing me for buying this luggage. Because, yeah, it's on the expensive side of the scale. But, yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> Whatever you say. One guy even told me that I should, uh, shouldn't buy this uh, luggage, remote luggage. And instead, I... Uh, saved up for my future as they uh, as he say invest in uh, some you call this thing uh, g invest in g cash it's a it's a it's a trading platform as they say in the philippines and yeah so whatever you say man i really don't care because i bought this luggage because i got sick of uh, buying a cheap luggage mid-range uh, the, the ones in polycarbonate shell whatsoever and yeah whenever I use that uh, buy for this uh, for today and then use it for like six months I always fly actually I always fly uh, and uh, yeah after six months wheel is detached uh, shell is broken has crack or whatsoever and yeah and so I got sick of it and uh, check and search on the internet uh, which luggage does uh, hold up for like very very long time which is the, yeah Google answered that uh, it's Remoa checked out the prices yeah it's really expensive I bought this one for like uh, 1600 I guess, $1,600 in Cambodia. And actually, I also have the cabin, the small one, the original cabin. Yeah, I'll show you that one also. So, yeah, the only cons I can see from this uh, luggage is it's really heavy. Whenever uh, I use this one, 
even if it's empty it's really heavy it's around six kilos six kilos no no stuff inside so but it's a good thing because yeah it's aluminium and it's really sturdy the thing is uh it's a scratch magnet yeah so it's over here as you can see there's a lot of scratches a few dents scratches and got some pretty really, pretty really deep dent right here all right <clears throat> scratches actually it's normal to have scratches like this as they say uh, it's battle scars as they call it but yeah this is the newest uh, addition to the dent uh, I got it from Fumicino airport here in Italia because yeah they've been like in their uh, luggage carousel uh, they just throw it drop in the luggage uh, carousel and stuff yeah mm, other than that yeah I'm pretty pretty uh, thankful that I got this this is the belt where you can attach your small luggage in my case this one this is the cabin I wish I can put it right here put it like that yeah and call it a day you can just uh, pull it right there together All right. looks really really nice while walking also yeah. free up uh, my hands from like pulling a lot of bags and stuff yeah actually this, this is the this is the last uh like it, not really edition but this is the last uh, model that comes with this attachment this is the last one because after this they uh, ditch ditch this attachment in in place of this it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't help anything <laughs> actually but the older model has this kind of attachment in this uh, cabin also but unluckily I didn't had that uh, opportunity to purchase that kind of model because this is the last patch so yeah but still so it's fine so yeah I attach my uh, my uh, this is my Fumi uh, bag pack and I just uh, attach it over here so it's still fine put it over here and call it a day so yeah just pull it and yeah uh, the wheels actually it's it's been two years and it's still uh, butter smooth so whenever you pull it, it doesn't require you a lot of uh, force to pull it and it's really nice even when you're in the airport you're not gonna get uh, stressed pulling your luggage because some of the luggage i tried you know after a few months wheels comes off uh they got problem with the wheels ah yeah i forgot to tell you the only thing i got like a problem with the wheels before is like the squeaking wheels uh i did some research on how to uh fix that squeaking sound and they told me that uh you need to like remove the screw uh, the whole uh, wheel attachment and put some lub like lubricating oil so i did that uh i do have some this small uh, uh oil like lubricating oil from uh, Zephal it's from my bicycle actually it's a uh, really good lubricant oil lubricating oil so I place it there and until now I didn't even touch the wheels or anything yet so yeah the squeaking is gone it's really nice so all right another thing uh, just I just encountered this like this week 
when I pick up the luggage from the carousel in Italy in Roma so yeah this one is a little bit off like it's not that smooth anymore yeah I don't know if it's if maybe it's because of the contents of my uh, luggage or anything I'll check that one when I uh, I remove all the stuff inside my luggage but yeah still good still good amazing uh, if uh, anyone is asking uh, is it worth it yeah it's 100% worth it even it's expensive yeah so that's it for the review for the Remowa trunk Remowa it's a German brand <laughs> of course and yeah again if you're uh, new to the channel uh, please do like uh, subscribe share my videos if you don't like it that's fine uh, you know there's always room for improvements just put it on the comment section below and yeah we're still improving yeah all right so see you guys see you next time bye bye